Hey everyone, it's Warren Dean from Datatail. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the Australian Bureau of Statistics or the ABS Table Builder. I'm going to use it to extract data on Victorian postcodes for Afghanis and bring that out as a CSV file, which you can then use in Power BI to analyze it by postcode. This video is part of my online and also virtual and in-person Power BI training course for government. So if you are interested in this type of learning, do get in touch with me via my website or the links below. Um, so abs.gov.au census. And when you get to the census, there's a product called Table Builder where you can create your own data tables. Um, so you can log in as a guest. I'm going to just log in as a basic, which I'd recommend. If you haven't registered before, uh, you can click register here and it will register for you. Um, it will give you a user ID. Um, you'll create your own password and you'll get an email. So feel free if you've never used the ABS table builder before to pause the video and go and register. That won't take long and then you can come back. Once you've done that, um, you'll get a user ID in your email, the password you'll make up and just log in. Accept the terms and conditions. And so you can see here we have three years. So you've got the 2006, 11 and 16. So three years worth of data, which is great. Um, so what we're actually gonna do is go to the 2016, which is the latest census. If you open that up, um, you've got basic and pro, you've got a lot of other information here. Just go to basic and what I want is cultural diversity. Um, so you can save any of the tables you want. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is just go to new table. And when you're here, we can create a table um, based on fields from here. Um, so what I want to get is the selected person characteristics. So in this product that we're building, we are looking um, for Afghanis. Um, so we can get that under selected person characteristics and I am opening up where the person is born. So BPLP country of birth. So can you see that one? Um, and here's all the continents. And so the one we want is Southern and Central Asia. Open that up. Southern and Central Asia. Oops, sorry, Central Asia. So Southern and Central Asia, Central Asia. And what I want you to do is tick on Afghanistan. So we want to extract from the census only people who were born in Afghanistan. So we can tick on that and we can just create that as a filter. Click on filter. And you can see in here, it's added it with a little X, um, Afghanistan. Once you've done that, scroll back up to the top and close that and go to geographical areas. Um, so I live in Victoria in Australia. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, get the postal areas. So postal areas, Victoria POAs. Um, this time I'm not gonna open the box because I just want everything in here. I'm just going to click on this little arrow on the side. So if you click on that and POA, and we can just make that. So when, when you've selected something, you can see up here, these buttons turn blue. So I've got 695 postcodes. I'm going to add that as a row and it should come down like that. If you click on retrieve data, um, it'll work that out for us. And here you can see, so 3000, which is Melbourne, um, and you should have nine if you're in the 2016 census. So if you've got the same as me, 
That's awesome. Um, we don't want it in Excel. In this example, we're going to use CSV file and just select go. And that is saved as table.csv in my downloads folder. Now I've got this for Afghanis. I also want to compare it to the total population. So what you can do is just go to this filter and just click on this X. So I'll just click on that. Retrieve. And now you should have Melbourne, or the postcode 3000 and nearly 38,000. So we'll just get that one in CSV as well. So I'm selecting comma separated value, CSV. So you should have two. Um, we're done with the census now. So what you can do is you can just go to your downloads folder and you can rename. So table one was uh, Afghan um, by postcode. And I forget what. And the other one I called total by postcode. Okay, so these are the first two files that we're going to use.